Let's open a Novo DS box. Here you will find the main unit and a quick start guide, as well as a couple other small boxes. In the smaller one you will find the power adapter, while the other contains an HDMI cable, a micro USB power cable, and a wall mount bracket. The Quick Start Guide provides the necessary information to help you set up the Novo DS device quickly. You might want to take a look at this first. The wall mount bracket has an adhesive strip so it can be easily attached to the back of a display, providing a simple mount for the Novo DS. All the connections are on the back of the device. Use the supplied HDMI cable to provide audio and video from the Novo DS to your display. Ethernet is provided as an option to the built-in Wi-Fi so that the Novo DS can be hardwired to the network for the fastest, most reliable, and robust connection. If you need additional storage, you can insert a micro SD card, up to 64 gig is supported. The micro SD card can also be used to load a playlist when no network connection is available. A Kensington lock can be used to secure the device against theft. You may also connect a USB mouse for quick and easy configuration of the Novo DS. This USB connection can also be used in conjunction with a touch-enabled display for interactive signage. Lastly, connect the micro USB power cable. You can plug it into the supplied AC-DC adapter or if your display can supply USB power with 5 volts at 1.5 amps, you can power the Novo DS from that USB port as a convenient option. Once everything is set up properly, you should be able to see the Novo DS home screen on the connected display. You will have the option to click Play Demo. Once you've configured your own content, the Novo DS can be set to automatically play upon power-up with an adjustable delay time allowing for interaction for additional settings. There are a couple of LEDs on the front. The green one is a power-on indicator, while the blue one is an Ethernet network activity indicator.